Greetings, Padawans. This is your Jedi Master here, the Melted Jedi. And today we're taking a look at uh, a new video posted over to IGN uh, just today, I believe. It is about how Nyx was created in Star Wars Outlaws. So Nyx, if you don't know, is kind of like the little companion sidekick character. Um, he can help you do things in the game. He's actually interactable and uh, is also, if you didn't know, super friggin' adorable. So we're going to pop into this. It looks like it's about eight. So we'll take a look at this and we'll talk about it. Oh my gosh, this guy's so cute. Look at this guy. It's a recipe for tears when Han Solo and Chewie are torn apart. C-3PO is lost without R2-D2 beeping and booping close behind him, and the Mandalorian is half the man he can be without Grogu floating by his side. Star Wars has a long lineage of companions, and in Outlaws, it's no different. Say hello to Nyx, the center of Kay's world and her partner in crime, literally. Hell yeah, dude. This guy looks so cool. He's Kay's family. The only creature, the only thing in the galaxy that she truly trusts. Nick grew up with Kay on the streets of Kanto Bight from a very young age. Little is known about how they met just yet, but ever since their young years, they've been a dynamic duo willing to make their way in the world through whatever legal or illegal means present themselves. Belonging to a brand new Star Wars species, Massive Entertainment knew that Nyx would be a crucial ingredient to telling Outlaw's story. Not only that, he would be a key cog in its stealth action game. Galaxy, I really hope that they uh, kind of them. highlight how useful he is, though. We just saw him kind of, um, like, basically they gave an attack command here. So K says, hey, let's highlight this guy. Dory. Not only and that, uh, Nyx would go over and kind of attack him, right? Gameplay systems. The opportunity to create a new creature and add them to the Star Wars galaxy and also have them be a companion to k it came really from both a narrative and i think a gameplay lens we never really talked about k without talking about nyx they're sort of one unit and in the gameplay sense nyx was almost like an extension of k we said we want him to be your long thing yeah so if he's attacking blaster, nyx you can also like distract long, uh, robbery that's so cool you can press buttons things, uh, distract interact attack, with um yeah. Disable alarms. Things in the environment, right, you know? Nicks. Go get him. While you don't directly control Nyx, he is a key tool in your arsenal. Think of him as Outlaw's alternative to Watchdog's suite of hacking tools, and you won't be far off the mark. With a quick tap of a button, you can send him down a corridor to distract a guard, who you can then sneak up on to perform a melee takedown. Lights out. Prefer a more explosive style, have Nyx quietly activate an enemy's grenade in their pocket and watch it detonate from a safe distance. From the limited amount I've played and seen, Nyx has a fun and useful variety yeah, you can of also actions steal available stuff as well. up his furry sleeves, and that range will only grow as you uncover more abilities. Crucially, they all feel appropriate for an innocent small creature to carry out. You won't see Nyx manning a heavy laser turret, but you can ask him to surreptitiously sneak a look at an opponent's card hand in Sabacc. Uh -huh, Aha, the sneaky. Tying him in with gameplay was was extremely important. That's sneaky. We treated Nyx very similar to the player because we feel they're they're part of the same thing. But then on the narrative side, it was also an opportunity to have this creature that was a crack in Kay's armor that was fiercely loyal to her and uh, will do anything for Kay. And so in a lot of ways, they were always oh, sort look of at this the, complete That's the mocap version of uh, Nyx there. was able to come up with, seeing the sort of iterations of Nyx was amazing. That's so cool. Those iterations were many. At one point during development, he resembled a monkey, with Abu from Aladdin being a particular touchstone. Later, he transformed into something more akin to a lizard. As the team sought to find a balance between a creature that was very physically capable, but one you could also see as a friendly companion. How exactly then do you find such a look? Luckily for Massive, the team had the help of Lucasfilm and its wealth of Star Wars knowledge to help crack the code. It really started from a story necessity perspective. As we were defining Kay and who she was, we knew she was growing up as a bit of a loner, a bit of an outcast, and, you know, a burgeoning thief on her own. And when you think about that kind of archetype, 
there's great need for a companion so they're not solely on their own. And we started thinking through, okay, in the Star Wars vernacular, what types of companions have we seen before? We've seen Wookiees, we've seen droids, we've seen a, a mix of eclectic other types of characters. Yeah, I really like that point that like you're not just going to feel like you're totally alone. You kind of have your companion with you at all times. Um, from what I understand, like you don't have to like worry about healing Nyx or anything like that. So you don't have to like, um, you know, worry about his health or anything like that. Kind of like, um, uh, what was his name in uh, BD-1 in, uh, in uh, the, fall the Jedi uh, Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order series. So kind of like kind of like that and it's also you know really useful parallel for that and the pet came up the pet and owner dynamic was just the start though the door was still open for a variety of different looks and while star wars so certainly cute. has a selection of established dog-like species that massive could have chosen from the team decided to try uh, something original nix is a merkel it's a new species that we created here a merkel so he needed to have a very soft side you know that you no. could really think like, okay this is her body for that we looked at a lot of more softer creatures but also our pets for sure they were a big big inspiration for nyx but on the other hand he's from a jungle planet he needs to survive he's still a wild animal i need to see nyx's sense. planet and so he has very sharp teeth for example he has the scales that we looked for at a pangolin uh, creature the team took many different animals from our natural world and borrowed Gosh, and pieces to frankenstein together their new species this ranged from the very basics such as the body shape and cheeky characteristics of raccoons to the more exotic tentacle-like ear shape of an axolotl. These body parts were combined to form a recognizable silhouette for Nyx, but just as important as his practicality uh, was his ability to convey emotion and communicate it. with Kay without the power of speech. When you look at some reference uh, from dogs, let's say, or even cats, you can tell when they're sad. They can tell when they're happy. There's a lot in their ears, in their eyes, in expressions, in their movement, where you just know they can't talk, uh -huh. but they're happy. Look up down so the we bottom really left. moved into that uh, kind of body language and expression to really highlight uh -huh. what Nyx was feeling and kind of move That'd be so in, fun you know, to work on Nyx like that. Posture-wise, you'll, you'll see him, uh, his, his silhouette go smaller as he's sneaking slowly towards uh, an NPC to take them down. And happy, he's, he's a lot more animated, uh, He's running around. He's you can hear him chirping. Yeah, he's like happy. making little sounds and stuff. People are really gonna recognize so and cool. feel what Nyx is feeling in the moment. We also wanted Nyx to be able to show his emotions in a way that that's easy to understand. That you know, you really believe that this is a creature and he would do it this way. You know, when he's very scared, he will put his t tentacles all down, or when he's scanning the environment, he will put them up. <laughs> he's very dramatic. Nyx was ultimately brought to life for a mixture of cutting edge animation and motion capture technology, but also blended with classic creature creation techniques such as hand puppetry. And then there's the sounds he makes, provided by the unique vocal talents of the legendary D. Bradley Baker, who's appeared as yeah. everything from Daffy Duck in Space Jam to Appa in Avatar The Last Airbender. Creating a brand new Star Wars species is no small task, but for the team, it already feels worth it thanks to having seen just how much fans are already connecting with Nyx. People are actually drawing the character we created and he resonates it's with people. Great. Yeah, that just makes me Good super drawing. proud and I think the team did such an amazing job on him. So much love went into this, this character and I think people feel that. One question remains then, being a stealthy outlaw companion willing to get into a scrap, that territory naturally comes with danger attached. So can Nyx get hurt? Or worse, even... I don't want to see him hurt, no. But he's very capable, you know. He gets out of the way. He knows how to sneak away when there's danger. So he can definitely take care of himself. He holds his Good. own. He we knows, just can't be having that kind what of emotional do. turmoil between our smuggling escapades, can we? For more on Star Wars Outlaws, check out this deep dive into the creation of its open world or 10 minutes of exclusive gameplay. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Oh man, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so he looks King. absolutely incredible. I mean, this guy, little guy, has so much character. Um, that's gonna be in this game. It just it's it's just so cute, and then his usefulness is just really, 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 really uh, kind of understated in a lot of this the stuff that we've seen so far. 
and um yeah you can uh I'm, I'm i believe you can even pet the little guy so that's that's pretty cool as well but yeah you can use him for attack and distractions he can push buttons he can help detonate stuff he can steal stuff he's actually super useful so uh when the game comes out if you ever kind of get stuck maybe kind of look in the nyx menu maybe that's maybe that's probably what you need to do is uh nyx needs to do something for you to help you advance so um looking forward to playing nyx uh with nyx and k when the game releases on uh, august 30th so looking forward to that let me know what you guys think in the comments love your faces jedi master out